Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Good morning. Praise God. Hallelujah. Good morning and welcome to Kingdom Word Ministry where we preach and teach the Word of God chapter by chapter, verse by verse. Praise God. I'm excited this morning to get into the Word of God. I believe the Lord has a word for us this morning. Praise God. So let's get right into the Word. The Word will be coming from Joshua chapter 3, verse 14 through 17. Joshua chapter 3, verse 14 through 17. Beginning in verse 14. <clears throat> and it came to pass when the people removed from their tent to pass over Jordan and the priest bearing the ark of the covenant before the people, as they that bear the ark will come unto Jordan, and the feet of the priest that bear the ark were dipped in the brim of the water. For Jordan overflowed all his banks all the time of harvest. Verse 16. That the water which came down from above stood and rose up on an eve very far from the city Adam. That is beside Zerate. Those that came down toward the sea of the plain, even the salt sea, fell and were cut off. And the people passed over right up against Jericho. And the priest bearing the ark of the covenant of the Lord stood firm on dry ground in the middle, in the midst of Jordan, and all the Israelites passed over on dry ground until all the people was passed clean over Jordan. Let us pray. Father God, we thank you for another day. Thank you for another opportunity. Thank you, God, for my presence. Thank you, God, for the listeners this morning, God. And we know that you are in control of everything. And so we are appreciative, God, that you have given us an opportunity to break bread with your people, God. Now, God, let us down into your storehouse of knowledge, your wisdom, and understanding, Father, that we might get an understanding because you said in your word, and all I get it, we get an understanding. Have your way, Lord. Have your way with me. Have your way with the people that are listening. Give them that spiritual ear to hear. Because you said those that have that ear to hear, let them hear. So let the words of my mouth and meditation of my heart be accepted in thy sight. O oh Lord, my strength and my redeemer, in Jesus' name, in the body of believers, said, Amen. This morning, I want to continue from the subject series that New Norm, part three. We're talking about crossing your Jordan. We are approaching one of the most grateful and appreciative holiday of the year. A day that people around the world gather with their families and friends and have a big dinner, family dinner, and give thanks to God for all that he has done for us over the years. But because of this pandemic, because of this new norm, we cannot do what we used to do. What we used to do, we cannot or should not do them this year. But we still have something to give God praise for. Thank God for another day above ground. Thank him for your help and strength. Thank him for your family members that are still here. Those who are no longer with us, for, for the member, thank God for the member that they have, he have allowed us to, to have, praise God, hallelujah, glory to God. There's always something that you can give God thanks for, praise God. Thank him for your joy and thank him for your mountain. Thank him for your valley. It doesn't matter whether or not you're on the mountain top or in the bottom or whatever. You praise God and give him thanks any time and every time of your life, God. Praise God. Hallelujah. The Bible tells me in 1 Thessalonians 5 and 18 that the Bible said, in everything, give thanks. For this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. Thank God for what he has done for you. Thank God for what he has not done for you yet. And, and, but in, in the fullness of his time, we know that God will bring it to pass. So we can give God praise and glory, even if we have not received our blessing, even if we have not crossed our joy and praise God. We can still give 
give him praise and glory and thank God for another day above ground. In everything the Bible says, give thanks. Praise God. Hallelujah. Can you think of anything this morning? Praise God. To give God praise, to give God glory, to thank him this morning. Praise God. I don't know about you, but I can praise God. Hallelujah. Glory to his name. This message is about crossing joy. You can give him praise even before you cross your joy. It's still time to give God praise before you cross your joy. You know that God is going to take you across your joy. Don't wait to give him praise. Give him praise now, praise God. So give him praise before you cross your joy. Somebody ought to say hallelujah. Somebody ought to say glory to God. Somebody out there should thank the Lord this morning. Praise God. Hallelujah. Because he's good. Amen. He's good. He saved us. That's enough to, enough to tell the Lord, thank you, God. Glory to your name. Praise God. It's time to cross your joy. Last week's message was about leadership. Jo Joshua said in verse 3 of our text from the NLT, but he said, when you see the priest, Carrying the ark of the covenant of the Lord, your God, move. When you see him carry, when you see the presence of the Lord, when you know he move, it's time to move from your position and follow him. Can we say hallelujah? Follow your leaders this morning, praise God. Whatever they're laid out for you to do, praise God. We can fight this thing. We can conquer our joy. We can ride over this thing, praise God. And we can go into a new norm, praise God. Hallelujah. Glory to your name. It's time now to cross into the new norm. It's time to cross your joy. And crossing your joy, it requires courage. Stamina and most importantly, faith in God. Crossing and joy demonstrate that the self centered and, and carnal lifestyle would be left behind in order to walk by faith and, be, and conquer your victory. Praise God. And we have to leave something behind. Praise God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. The Israelite was victorious until they became uh, disobedient to God. As long as you're walking according to the word of God and you're living according to the word of God, God will bring you over your joy and praise God. He will give you something to praise him in the valley. He'll give you something to praise him on the mountaintop. He will give you something even before you cross your joy. Give us a hallelujah. Give us a glory to God. What is your joy? What needs to be left behind on this side of your joy? What is causing you to walk in the wilderness and it only was an 11-day journey? What is the river or obstacle that holding you back this morning, praise God? Do you have, what do you have leaning around? What are you holding on to that you love of oh, this worldly lifestyle? Oh, bad habits, uncontrollable desire, temper, bitterness, jealousy, or greed, quenching your spiritual desire. What is keeping you from getting your feet wet this morning? What is keeping me from moving out from your position? Praise God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Joshua tell you that you can, you, can get, you can wash yourself. You can leave this behind. You don't have to carry it with you. He said in, in verse 3 of our text, he said, he said, purify yourself. Praise God. Joshua told the people to, to purify yourself, to wash yourself, wash your clothes, and wash your body, and leave behind the thing that you were, was not so pleasing to the Lord. Praise God. You can't take everything over to Jordan. Praise God. You got to leave something behind. Praise God. Hallelujah. Glory. Every time you move, you always leave something behind, praise God. And when you are definitely going into a new beginning, a new norm, praise God, you're going to always leave something behind, praise God. So start a new norm this morning, praise God. Enter into the new norm this morning. Enter into and start a new beginning, praise God. Hallelujah. Glory to your name. Your courage and faith will be put to test when you get ready to cross your joy. God's people by faith begin their journey of obedience. When you're traveling for the Lord, you've got to start out with, with faith, praise God. Having the courage to step out and, and start a new beginning. Joshua 3.15 indicates that, that Joshua was at first stage. The word joy means 
descended. This river dropped 1,000 1, feet from the Sea of Galilee to the Dead Sea. During that flood stage, the river current of speed increased to 10 miles per hour. That's pretty fast when you see water running like that, praise God. Normally, Jordan is about 100 feet wide. But during this flood stage, the spring, when the snow melted on Mount Lebanon, the river swelled and it became one mile in width. Praise God, hallelujah. Oh, it was very intimidating when you, when you sit back and you look at the water that was there, praise God. It was only 100 feet, but now in flood stage, it's a mile wide, praise God. And it's running rapid down the to the joy, to the dead sea, praise God. Can we say hallelujah? Glory to God. God sometimes asks you to do the most impossible task so he can get the glory and praise once the task is done, praise God. He, he may lead us to go forward when our circumstance at the bleaking to show his power over our circumstance and, and obstacle. It will take courage Cross your Jordan. Not only was the Jordan at flood stage, they were going into an enemy territory, and the enemy was right over and was not too far away. Praise God. It was going to take courage and faith for the Israelite to move out from their position and follow the lead. It's going to take faith, praise God. It's going to take faith in God to follow the leader that God has put here for you on earth. Praise God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Praise his name. Because what they were facing was, it was frightening, praise God, to look at that river like that. It is going to take courage and faith to step out from your position, whatever position that you stand and hold right now, you got to move out from that position and follow the scientists this morning. Can we say hallelujah? Glory to that. Especially if you have, have to leave something behind, an old habit, whatever it may be. It's hard to change a lifestyle. Praise God. Glory to your name. But you got to be able to change it. Because in order to conquer your joy, there's going to be something that you have to leave behind. Changing your lifestyle could be one of them. This crossing would not be fast, but not be a fast one, but a slow one. It would take more hours to cross, even though they are crossing on dry ground. Crossing would require stamina and patience for the priest because the length of the time needed for the priest to get across. Obeying the law requires stamina and faith. If we are to do the Lord's will, praise God this morning, you got to be able to have some, 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 some energy, praise God. You got to be, have, have, be determined, praise God, to go on, praise God. Stamina and patience is needed, praise God, because you got to see the Lord work, praise God. Don't rush the Lord. He knows what he's doing, and he's going to work it out in the fullness of his time. It might not look like it's going to happen, but he's going to work it out, praise God. Hallelujah. Glory to his name this morning, praise God. Paul challenged us in 1 Corinthians 15 and 58. He said, therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abound in the work of the Lord. For as much as ye know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. Your work is not in vain, praise God. What you're doing and the steps that you're making and the work that you're doing for the Lord and whatever you're going to, just have enough stamina, have enough patience to walk and stand and be strong where you are. Praise God. Glory to his name. He'll bless you if you don't let go. Praise God. Can we say hallelujah? Don't let the noise and the sound of the water frighten you or anything that frighten you. Because the Bible says in 1 Peter 5 and 8 and 9, he says, stay alert. Watch out for your great enemy, the devil. He prowls around like a roaring lion looking for someone to devour. Stand firm against him. God says, stand firm. Don't move. Don't, don't, don't be intimidated, praise God. And be strong in your faith. Don't let nothing shake your faith, praise God. 
Remember that your Christian brothers and sisters all over the world are going through the same kind of suffering you are. Praise God. All over the world, brothers and sisters, they are going through this pandemic. They're going through the same thing that we are. It's not strange, praise God. You're not the only one, praise God. Everybody is facing the same thing. Hallelujah. Not all by yourself. You're not alone this morning, praise God. You are not on, 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 this, on this journey by yourself. You're not the only one crossing the Jordan. You're not the only one that has problems, praise God. Many have, many have crossed the water before, praise God, before you, praise God. Most of this new generation have never seen the part of the Red Sea. They've only heard what God has done. We too have, have only heard what God has done. But I read in Roman, Roman 10 and 17, but faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Glory to his name. They must cross this river by overcoming any, any doubts and any fear by his, his, their faith in the Lord this morning. Praise God. Hallelujah. Glory to his name. Praise God. You got to have that faith. You got to have that faith that's unshakable, praise God. When they touched the water, God performed and fulfilled his word exactly as he said. It was a miracle. In verse 14 here, we, there's a moment of the divide of, of joy. It says, when the people removed from the tent and the priest bearing the ark of the covenant, the moment that the divide came is when they demonstrate great co commitment, praise God, in both the priest and the people to do God's will, praise God. That got to be a commitment this morning, praise God. If you're going to carry out God's will and you're going to do what God, that got to be a commitment. The first commitment was the people. When the people removed from their tent, the people was in camp next to Jordan. When they moved out, they moved out from the tent. And the moment they moved out from the tent, they were showing faith and they were on their way, on their journey. Praise God. Hallelujah. This was an act of faith. As they faced their, their Jordan, what they saw was frightening. Yet they moved out towards the Jordan. Praise God. Sometimes you just got to move out, praise God. Don't stand where you are, even though there's a problem there. God told you that there's a promised land on the other side, so you got to just move out this morning. Praise God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. When, when we obey God, if we obey God by faith, God worked mightily for us. While they looked at the problem, they still Moved out. They were shaking, praise God, what the devil was trying to put that fear in the heart. Praise God. Hallelujah. Glory to his name. The second was the priest. The second commitment was the priest. In verse 15, when the feet of the priest that bare the ark were dipped into the rim of the water, the moment of the divide also happened when the priest walked into the water of Jordan. The step of faith was quickly rewarded by the divide of the water of Jordan. Praise God. The power, that power that God was exhibited in the divide here. Praise the Lord. In verse 16, the water which came down from above stood and rose up on he. And those that came down toward the sea of the plain, even the salt sea, fell. And was cut off, praise God. It takes great power to stop a river, praise God. Huge dams are, are often employed to, to stop rivers, but, but God didn't have no dam, praise God. He had only his word, and his word was good enough to stop the water of the river and make a way to cross over, praise God. Nothing but his word, praise God. Stand on the word of God. He said, earth and heaven may pass away, but my word, hallelujah, Glory to God, we'll stand. Praise God. Praise his holy name this morning. And the power of the body is emphasized by the fact that the, the river was at flood stage. But Jordan, in verse 15, Jordan overflowed all of his banks all of the time of the harvest. Praise God. Verse 15 is awesome this morning. God still did something. He still moved on it. 
It was the time of the harvest. God waited until the river was at first stage before he divided it. For God often wait until our condition are at the worst before he acts. For, the, for then he, his power is seen and, and is greater if he had acted before, praise God. When the situation is now near the worst part of, of, your, of your cross and God steps in and intervenes, praise God, so he can get the praise and no one else can get the glory, praise God. We can thank God this morning. Praise the Lord, hallelujah. Glory to his name, praise God. In verse 16, we see the measure, praise the Lord, the measure of the divine. It says, the Jordan rose up upon an Eden very far as the city of Adam that is beside Zoratan. And those that came down toward the sea of the plain, even the salt sea, the dead sea fell and was cut off. The city of Adam is, is believed to have been at least 15 miles north of the center point of the cross. The Dead Sea was about 10 miles south, so it stretched right across which was affected. was approximately 25 miles in length. It was no small area, praise God. God created a space for 25 miles. This would enable the Israelites to cross and, and move quicker for there would be more room to cross the Jordan, praise God. God is in control and he knows exactly what it takes to, to move out this morning, praise God. What it takes you to cross your Jordan, glory to God. The drying of the Jordan, God will dry up your Jordan, praise God. God said it, the drying of the Jordan was the second miracle, praise God. It was no longer a miracle than, it was no less a miracle than the divine of the, of the joy. But few people talk about the drying of the joy. The myth of the drying of the river bed is, is, is also mentioned in, in, in the Red Sea crossing, praise God. And the divine of joy by Elijah, and, and he in with, uh, with uh, Elisha passed over joy just before Elijah trans. Send it to God. Praise God. God not only allowed you to cross your joy, but he also allowed you to go on dry ground, praise God, across your joy. We see here in verse 17 the, the hardness from the drying. The priest stood firm on dry ground. The priest standing firm meant that they were on, on firm ground, praise God. The drying of the riverbed was so great that the ground was hard and firm, praise the Lord, glory to your name. God said, I'm going to work this thing out. There will be no problem when you're walking with the Lord, Lord, only your steps, praise God, hallelujah, glory to your name. God said in your crossing of the joy, you won't be bogged down in mud. This was a miracle. Whenever a stream or a pond dries up, it generally takes weeks before the riverbed or pond bed stop and being soft and muddy and become hard and firm to cross it, praise God. To be this dry instead was a truly miracle by God. The scope of the drying in verse 17. Dry ground in the midst of Jordan. This dry ground was not just an edge, not just the edge of the riverbed, but it was in the very center where the bed was, praise God. It was right in the center of the wettest place that, that in the longest that take the, take the longest to dry, praise God. Under normal circumstance, praise God, that the water in the middle normally be the last place to dry and be hard, praise God. It would take weeks, praise God. God worked a miracle to drop the riverbed, especially in the middle of the river. But the significance of the drying is important. In verse 10, he said, he, he stayed dry until all the people were passed clean over Jordan. 
this river bed was so dry that several million people walked across this dry river bed and did not cause it to become soft and muddy, praise God. Furthermore, one, one must remember that much livestock and also that travel across that dry bed, praise God. The crossing did not affect the drying of the river bed. And we know as farmers, praise God, hallelujah, glory to God. It's going to take time to, when you see a, a flock of, of, of cattle, praise God, going across a river bed. As they walk, they begin to make the ground moisture. But God says it's going to be hard all the way across until everybody passes on the other side. Can we say hallelujah? Can we say glory to God? The hoops of the livestock dig quickly into the river bed, a pond bed and stimulate moisture that is still there and make their river a bed a quagmire. A mud quickly became dry, praise God, hallelujah. Yet in crossing of the Jordan, praise God, nothing God allowed to happen. None of these things happened because God dried up the Red Sea. God dried up the Jordan, River Jordan. God dried up your problem. God drives up your Jordan, praise God. Everyone crossing the Jordan on dry ground, it was a very great miracle, praise God. If God had not dried the riverbed, miraculously, Israelite would have to stay and wait weeks before they crossed the Jordan. When God is ready to, to destroy this pandemic, he will do it completely in the fullness of his time. Praise God. Hallelujah. Glory to your name. To face such impossibility is challenged in our lives. We must look unto Jesus, our Joshua. He's always leading us. Praise God. You got to face these things. You'll be a possibility. Face it by looking unto Jesus. He's always there for us, praise God. He says this in Matthew 1 and 23. Jesus is the fulfillment of the ark. He is the Emmanuel, which is translated God with us. He is with us no matter where we go, praise God. He was in the wilderness with them. It is a light. He was in the crossing of, of Jordan with them, praise God. And he said, I will never leave. You'll not forsake whatever Jordan that you're crossing this morning, praise God. He is with you. He is Emmanuel, praise God. Hallelujah. Glory to your name. Jesus has cleared the way to victory over all things. Colossians 2, 5 said, having disarmed principalities and power, he made a public spectacle of them, triumphing over them in, in the cross, praise God. As we keep our eyes on Jesus and follow behind our, our victorious Jesus, the river of impossibility will dry up, praise God. Hallelujah. Glory to your name. Have you really tried Jesus with your eyes on him? On your Jordan? Have your Jordan dried up? Praise God. Have you truly walked according to God's word, trusting in Jesus and being disappointed? You got to look at that God, for thank God for your joy, praise God. Thank God for allowing you to walk across your joy on dry ground, praise God. You can find something to give God praise and glory. You don't have to wait for Thanksgiving to give him praise. You can give him praise now. You can give him glory now. Why? Because the Lord allowed you to walk across your joy on dry ground this morning, praise God. You can still, if you still need to cross your joy this morning, God is waiting for you to cross your joy. Crawl, your, even if it's at flood stage, praise God, hallelujah. Watch him work. Watch him work this morning so that you can give all the glory and praise to him, praise God. Watch the Lord work your problem out. Watch the Lord work out your joy. Don't wait until your, your joy is over. Shout now, praise God, hallelujah. If you don't know him as your personal Savior, praise God. You don't know how, how to get in contact in, with him and to follow him and stand on the word of God. All you have to do today, praise God, just ask him to come into your life and 
forgive you of your sin. He said, if, if you believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, he said, thou shalt be saved. If you believe that God sits on the right hand of the Father, Jesus sits on the right hand of the Father, you shall be saved. We serve a living God. Our God is alive. Our God is well. Our God is waiting on you. He stands at the door and knocks, and he's knocking. Anyone here is not, praise God, this morning. Let him come in and let him commune with you this morning. Can we say hallelujah? Glory to God. All you have to do is believe. And now, praise God, you can have salvation. Give us that thank the Lord. Glory to his name. Cross your Jordan with the Lord this morning. We are crossing a joy here when we are looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith. Praise God. Let us pray. Hallelujah. Father God, we thank you for another day. Thank you for another day above ground, another opportunity. Thank you for your word, God. Thank you for allowing your people to hear your word, God. You said those that have an ear to hear, now let them hear. And as they listen at this word, God, and that joy is in their life, or they're crossing the joy as we speak, God. God, we want to tell you, thank you, God. Work with us, God, going through this pandemic, God. As we call on you, God, and all the situation and all the things that are happening across this great, big, beautiful world. God, we ask for your grace and your mercy upon our leaders, God. We ask for your grace and your mercy upon our president, on our president-elect, God. We ask you, God, to just do wonders with him, God. Bless him going in and bless him coming out and whatever you put his hand to according to your will, that it may prosper, God. If he do your will, God, we want to give you the glory. We want to give you the praise, God. And thank you, God, as we've approached this most beautiful and magnificent holiday, that this Thanksgiving, God, that you have given us an opportunity, God, to give you praise and to give you glory and thank you for what you have already done for us all over this year, God, that we are where we are this day, God, because of you, God, because of your grace and because of your mercy, God. And we ask you, God, for the, the, the blessed old bereaved, God, that, uh, that, uh, that need comfort in this morning, God. Give them the comfort and understand that they need, God. God, we'll be careful to give you the praise and give you the glory in your son Jesus' name. And the body of believers said, amen. Praise God. Praise the Lord. Glory to your name. Hallelujah. Praise God. This word been a blessing to you this morning. Praise God. Hallelujah. Feel free to donate to Kingdom Word to 225. Praise God. And remember this week to give God thanks. Give God praise for this glorious Thanksgiving holiday, praise God. God bless you, and remember, Jesus Christ is Lord.